Hey, what is up, you guys? Laser Videos here. This is the Sam my Samsung Illusion, aka Dumpster Ho. That's what you guys shall know her as from now on. Uh, pretty normal phone. Um, it's Verizon. Yeah, I've got extremely long nails. I plan cutting them tonight. Uh, Samsung Illusion, Verizon. Very beat up. All of that. All of that shizmages. Basically, it does still turn on and work. But there's a battery problem. There's a couple of battery prob problems, actually. And the first one is common. Actually, I, don't, I think the battery is too dead now. Uh, it might be. Anyway, let's talk about the first battery problem. Now, the battery, the board, the battery, first of all, is going out. Uh, the lifespan has reached its bare minimum. And uh, also, the board inside the battery has... Due to the lifespan reaching bare minimum, the board has, you know, gone bad. It's just glitching out now. Basically, a lot of times when you're charging this phone, it'll say it's fully charged, and you'll be like, okay. You'll unplug it, and it'll go down to 80%, which basically means it's not fully charged, but for some reason it freaking thinks it is. Ridiculous stuff like that. And there's a lot of times where it'll randomly power off at 40% because it says low battery powering off. Even though Shut, come on, dude, I'm making a video. <laughs> anyway, so it'll power off like that. Well, now I've discovered another battery issue, and this one's a little more major, and that is a battery leakage. You can see this one has a few dents in it. Uh, that's not a, uh, that might be a hole right there. Dylan, seriously, stop. <laughs> that might be a hole right there. I'm not positive, though, but I don't think it is. I think it's just a really large dent, but, uh, Anyway, there's some sort of battery leakage here, uh, and it, you can smell it coming from the terminals and like that right there. Just like you can smell it basically coming from this part of the battery. And this is how you, this guys, this is how you test to make sure that your batteries aren't leaking. Uh, you sniff them at the tip, and basically you'll know if they're leaking. They kind of have this kind of. It's the smell that's comparable to like eggnog or, you know, cherry bubblegum or not cherry bubblegum, just bubblegum, fla bubblegum flavored bubblegum or whatever. Some kind of, you know, sweet smell. It's not a bad smell unless you inhale way too much of it. Then it kind of smells horrible. It's unbearable, but it's got a slight case. Now, I've had this problem before. It's not dangerous from what I know. It's, it's just, you know. I guess it's kind of dangerous. It's lithium gases leaking out of the battery. That's pretty much it. Uh, it's nothing huge, nothing major. Uh, you know, it's not affecting the battery. The battery still functions. It still works. It still charges. But uh, I'm probably not going to use the battery for much longer. I can show you here if I enter uh, download mode, if it even will. I think the battery is too dead to even enter download mode. But anyway, that's pretty much the point. Basically, that's how you test if a battery is leaking. Now, I've had this happen before in a cheap Chinese MP3 player. Uh, Trio Rhythm V8 or something like that. Uh, it was by Mach Speed, you know, Eclipse, all of that kind of stuff. Pretty nice MP3 player, actually, but eventually the top of the MP3 player started smelling like that. So if you have a feeling, if you just want to make sure that you're in a safe, you know, a safe territory with your battery... Give it a sniff at the top. It's not really bad for you as long as you don't, you know, breathe it way too much. Uh, give it a sniff at the top or at this, basically all around the battery. And if you actually do smell something peculiar uh, that smells, it's if it smells like an eggnog kind of thing, that's how you know. Or if it smells sweet, then that's how you know. Uh, basically, if it's any other smell, it's probably not the battery. Uh, or it's probably just like the adhesive. But if you do happen to smell it, ha, the time was at 420. Anyway, if you do happen to smell that, I highly recommend you go replace your battery, uh, you know, just in case. And by the way, this battery doesn't have swell problems or anything either. It's not swollen at all. It's perfectly flat. It kind of looks swollen to you guys, but it's not. It's not swollen. And also, due to the leakage, I can push down on it. And it, it actually pushes in. But again, I don't rem I don't recommend you guys do that either. It'll it accelerates the gases coming out. And 
Now, the reason that's actually a bad thing when this battery leakage thing happens is it's not acids coming out of your battery. It's more of this... Because lithium oxidizes from oxygen, of course. That's why it's called oxidization. Uh, basically, lithium will oxidize in oxygen. And that's that's very dangerous, actually, for your battery. It can cause random overheating, flames, explosions, all kinds of stuff like that. So I think I'm actually going to uh, take the battery out. It's probably not a big deal right now until it gets worse, but I'm probably going to take this battery out and put it outside uh, just, just, just to be smart. Uh, and I'll probably buy a new battery for this thing soon. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you learned anything new, please let me know in the comments, and if you guys have this problem, if you've had this problem before, please also let me know. This is the second time I've had this happen to me where the battery starts, you know, letting off fumes. So it's a it's a classic thing with lithium batteries. So anyway, guys, peace out.